free to drop us an email so that uh, we can get in touch with you. Um, so to start off, we will turn the time over to Dirshan Pereira, uh, Vice President Sales. Uh, he has over 15 years of experience in enterprise solution selling, and uh, he has worked uh, with things like, uh, he has been working with us since uh, 2014. Uh, Dirshan will give you an, a brief introduction about Kingslake and uh, also talk about the innovative solutions that Kingslake has uh, to the apparel industry. Over to you, Dirshan. Thank you, Dirshani. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you who have joined us today. So uh, as Dilshani mentioned, um, today what I'll do is I'll quickly take you through uh, to give you a bit of a glimpse to who Kingslake is or what we've been up to past uh, 25 or plus years. So uh, as you see on the screen, uh, we've started operations uh, in 1991, that is in the UK. And since of 1998, we've been working very closely with the apparel industry. Now, uh, what you see on 1994 on the screen is that the time that we brought in the operation down to Sri Lanka. So since of then, our objective or our priority has been the manufacturing industry. Um, now, people will start to understand when you say manufacturing, it's a vast area, right? So we are quite good in certain micro verticals when it comes to manufacturing. Apparel is, I think, number one for us because we, uh, from a software point of view, we have an end-to-end -end product stack to manage and help you manage your daily operations and also to get you overcome your day-to-day -day issues that you face in your operations. So since of 1998, we've been working very closely with the apparel industry. And um, as I said, um, we work very closely with the mid to uh, large enterprises and we work on software that we make sure that caters to your operations and also gets you through the difficult period or the difficult times that you work. How, how we've come to this is by understanding, you know, we've been working alongside, uh, especially uh, some of the people who have joined to this call, some of the companies that have joined to this call, we're working alongside with them for the last 25 plus years. And we've learned a lot on the ERPs and some of the software that is being used in either the apparel or the manufacturing industry for that matter, have uh, some gaps in between. So these uh, ERPs and softwares are not able to fulfill. So what we've thought is to figure out a mechanism on how can we as an organization help you to manage these niche gaps or these niche issues that you face. So considering these, uh, uh, these uh, matters that we've come across, we have developed on our own a product or solution stack, which is also according to the current uh, worldwide um, software mechanisms or the structures that we use is based on OPEX. That is, uh, it's basically on the cloud. So there is no initial huge investment you need to put in and you pay as you go. So it's on a subscription model. So what is this? So we call this the Kingslake Blue Product Suite. So as I said, this is built specifically considering these niche gaps that we've seen in the market, especially in your industry or in your micro vertical. This is what uh, we've been looking at with Kingslake Blue and what we believe would be an ideal fit for the team that who is in this uh, conference today, who's with us on the webinar today. So uh, when you look at the solutions or the products that we could provide to your industry, this is uh, what you see on the screen is a glimpse of uh, all of that. So. We have the cutting room planning system, which, we, which is called Synchrona. Then we have the manufacturing execution system, uh, which is coupled with the line balancing. And of course, an extension of it, which goes into the production monitoring. And of course, the transport management, the warehouse management. And uh, I think one key uh, area is, of course, your human resource management and uh, helping you to how you can manage your day-to-day -day operations. So <coughs> this is a very high level glimpse of what as an organization Kingslake can provide to your industry to get through your difficult uh, you know, operational uh, issues that you face day-to-day -day in your day-to-day -day, um, uh, life. So um, 
I know this is quite a lot and we will not be able to cover all of this <laughs> within one go. So what we've uh, figured out or what we've taken out today to discuss is, of course, the line balancing. Um, to take it further or give you a better idea about this, um, we have our next speaker who will be uh, coming on board to brief you. Uh, before that, let me quickly take you through some of the key customers that we've been working alongside these last 25 plus years. Um, taking your industry for that matter, so we have Omega Group with us, with uh, Benji, Alpha, Sirio coming on board, and of course you see some of the uh, large uh, logos, large customer logos on the screen who have been with us for the 25 plus years. So my job is for you to explain or for, you, for me to explain to you is that as an organization, we've been working very closely with these customers and they are, we have been able to fulfill the, these gaps, these niche gaps, and to make sure that you are successfully, you have the competitive edge to successfully reach your markets. So moving on, Mr. Danusha Ganevata. So Danusha is uh, uh, one, of my, one of our colleagues who've been with us for quite some time, and he has a wide variety of you know, experience working alongside the apparel industry. And uh, he comes with of 10 plus years of exposure and experience working with uh, in the same industry. So Danusha, over to you. Thanks, Isha. Thank you. Again, um, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone, to all the apparel sector members who have joined us from all over the world. We see the, the amount of people who have joined. We, we have people from India, Bangladesh, Vietnam, Pakistan, Kenya, and also from the UK, which is quite interesting. Um, there's quite a few known members uh, who have joined here today, and we would like to thank you all for joining this webinar. Well, like Dilshan explained before, I've been in the parallel trade for over 12 years now, and I've been in, in and out through the parallel uh, manufacturing process and mainly into the development side of it. Um, you might wonder as to why I've changed my industry after so long and, and for me to change, come into the IT trade or to join Kings Lake last year is predominantly because I want to give and help or pass the word out about the technology solutions King Lake has to offer. As Dishan explained before on our previous slides, Kings Lake has evolved in bringing in new solutions of which I personally think it's quite interesting and unique, which could help the apparel industry grow and help to advance the technology process towards AI and also Industry 4.0. If you see <clears throat> the production of apparel, which is considered to be an art in the prehistoric period, has undergone several technology changes so far. The technology innovations has helped apparel manufacturers, brand merchandisers, and retailers to shift towards a new global reality where customers' choice and services are not just priorities, but also the potential to create a difference between the success and failure in a highly competitive market. Today, in the global apparel trade, the retailers and brand merchandisers are playing a dominant role. The apparel manufacturing industry continues to change faster than ever. The retail sector is becoming increasingly concentrated and the large international retailers are becoming more powerful through merged acquisitions. To become successful, I feel like in the highly competitive market which we, all of us are living in right now, it is essential to understand and each and every aspect of the apparel business. That's where Kingslake Solutions, which I would recommend by having all this uh, past experiences. So this introductory chapter with, of mine was just to talk about the global scenario of apparel production. Now I would like to take you to the next slide, which will talk about the major challenges which any of us would, would be facing on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Well, if you see the first two points here, this is one of the main concerns which the, which the factory manager or the work study officer would go through on a day-to-day -day basis, allocating that special killed employee for that specific operation, which is running on the current production line. In case if the employee is absent, how could we use the available resources to utilize and get the order going without any idle time is a key factor. In addition, 
we look into terms of safety as women are empowered, especially in this trade, as you, as you all know. The fact of visibility that the manager has information on where and when the employee gets in and out, the transport is critical, especially when the drop-off is late in the night. Going into, if you see the last two points, major issues do arise again for the factory managers and for the factory manager and the work study officers. I mean, they their main part at the current state would be firefighting, I would say, in, in order to balance the lines in inaccurate processes due to multiple data entries recording on Excel or paper or even duplicating work could be a hassle and a very time consuming thing. Um, so let's, I would like to call in Dilshani back again to talk about our next slide where Kingsley Blue line balancing could help these particular issues. Let's see. Thank you, Danusha. Um, so, well, um, now let's look at how King's Lake Blue Line Balancing Solution could um, assist to solve these problems. Well, uh, through our system, the work study manager is able to find the best team for a specific order. Uh, well, how this uh, works is uh, when a factory receives a new style, through the system, the work study person is uh, able to analyze the historical performance of um, each employee and their skill levels in different teams. And um, based on this analysis, the work study person can identify uh, how many pieces um, each production line is capable of producing. So because of the line balancing solution, uh, it is very much easier to find the best team uh, for a specific order. Uh, also, it helps to calculate the line efficiency as well. So the next point would be uh, the ability to minimize production bottlenecks, uh, which are caused due to different skill levels of employees in a particular production line. Well, uh, when you take a production line, uh, you get employees with uh, varying skill levels. So this can sometimes lead to production bottlenecks. So uh, the functionality in the system gives you the ability to identify these issues and uh, take actions proactively. So for example, um, let's say there's a lack of training for an employee on a specific sewing operation. So if the work study team has maintained this data in the line balancing solution, so this can be identified through the skill levels and uh, ensure that adequate training is given to the operator to meet the standard requirement and uh, also to identify resources from the pool, uh, which can be diverted to that specific operation based on uh, the availability. So this will also ensure that resources are utilized um, e effectively and uh, efficiently. So uh, the third point would be uh, finding replacements for absentees considering their skills. So, this is uh, one of the main features in our line balancing solution. Uh, for example, uh, when an operator gets absent um, through the system itself, the work study manager is able to find the best operator uh, with similar skill level and uh, is also able to check their availability in terms of workload and uh, allocate the suitable operator to ensure that the line is well balanced. Uh, well, this will be discussed further during the presentation as well. And um, final point would be uh, automating the work study process. Uh, well, basically by having a matured software product such as this for line balancing, uh, the entire work study process will have a proper system in place to carry out their day-to-day -day activities. So line balancing is a process where a lot of data input is involved. So by implementing a solution as this, uh, entering data manually at multiple stages in a process in different Excel sheets, or it can be paper-based templates, it, it can take a lot of time. Uh, so all data, for an example, employee skill levels, uh, machine data style, um, 
all the data, everything will be under one platform. And uh, this can be viewed by authorized employees across the factory. So precise information is available at any given time. Um, moving forward, um, now I welcome Laxiri Fernando to do the presentation and demonstration for line balancing. Uh, so Laxiri has over 20 years of experience in the software field, and um, he has vast experience in designing and developing software systems for the apparel industry. Um, well, Luxury has worked with many local and international customers and um, has gained insights into how customers can benefit from um, software solutions. Uh, over to you, Luxury. Thank you, Deshani. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So, uh, before the demonstration, uh, I would like to show some cool features of Kinsleck Blue Line Balancing. Uh, and then I would like to show some technical details of line balancing as well. Hope you can see my screen. All right. So as Dilshani mentioned, there are three main features in line balancing. The first one is, of course, when there is a new order, we want to find out which line will produce better, which can produce most number of pieces in highest efficiency. So system uh, does that, his deck do line balancing can do that, and it suggests the most appropriate production line for this new order. The next uh, main feature is actually the system provides most optimum resource allocation for the particular job. There can be different resource allocation, but system do the best way it can be done. Then when there are absent operators, we need people to do those, apps, uh, the, those operations which were doing by the those absent people. So Kinslake Blue Line Balance suggest uh, operators to do, do those operations. Okay, let's see how Kinslake Blue, Kinslake Blue Line Balancing does it. So system keep employee details in the system and then uh, employee skill data also system records and keep and then machine inventory maintains in the system and then team details. That is actually your production lines. Those are entered the system and maintained in the system. And when there is a new style, we record that with that layout, along with the operations of the layout is recorded into the system. And most importantly, work study officers do performance checking time to time and they update employee skills. So with this information, kids like Blue Line Bansi provide a lot of features from them. There are three main features. I'm going to talk about them. Uh, First, initial balancing. When there is a new order, we can find how different production line can uh, perform, production lines can perform using initial balancing. And also it gives the allocation as well, not only the, the lines which can produce, but also the actual allocation for a given line that also given by Kinslake Blue Line Balancing. And then let's see how initial balancing work. So we have team details, employee, uh, that means production line details. Then we have the skill inventory, employee skill inventory, historical data we have. Then for a given style, system calculates the number of pieces each line, each line can produce within an hour. Not only that, system calculates the efficiency of each line. So we, we have the efficiency, and the number of pieces, pieces each line can produce uh, for this new style. So with that information, we can determine what is the best line for the given style. Let's move to the next one. That is the next main feature, which is rebalancing. Here, uh, once a style is allocated to a production line, 
three balancing gives the optimum resource allocation. Optimum allocation, so resource, uh, resource uh, allocation uh, using rebalancing. Right, let's see how rebalancing work. We have uh, team details that is actually the production line and then work study officer do a performance study for the allocate, new, newly allocated uh, line and then update employee skills. Then for the allocated style system, calculate number of pieces each line can produce within an hour. So then what system does is system allocate the operations of the style among operators of the line until optimum allocation is achieved. This is somewhat repetitive task, but system does it. And then system comes to the optimum allocation. Actually, we are using artificial Hello, can you hear me? Yes, uh, Luxury, we can hear you. Okay, shall I proceed? Uh, just a second. Uh, Luxury, you can present. Uh, please share the screen, Luxury. Okay. You can hear me well, no? Yes. Okay. All right. I was talking about absentee balancing. Could you all hear that very clearly up to this absentee balancing? Tishani, were there any interruptions? Yes. Extremely sorry about that. There has been a technical problem, failure. So okay. you can continue, uh, Luxury. All right, so uh, I was talking about absentee balancing. Uh, actually here, when there are absentees in a production line, absentee balancing suggests replacement to carry out those operations which were already allocated to those absent employees. Right, let's see how absentee balancing work. All right, uh, again, we have the uh, line details production line details, we have the employee skills, historical employee skills. Then from the attendance system, identify the absent employees and identify the operations which were allocated to them. Then using the employee skill, uh, historical employee skills system, identify the people who can do those operations. Then system suggests uh, people to do those operations from the from the same line, it can be for within the same line, it can be from the pool, or it can be from some other lines. Once this is done, uh, we can allocate the new person to the team. Once allocated, system gives the optimum allocation again for the new team. All right. So uh, that's about the absentee balancing. And now let's move to the technical details. Well, uh, Kinsley Blue line balancing actually is uh, hosted in cloud. All the REST APIs and web clients are hosted in cloud. And talking about the mobile clients and uh, web clients, they are actually optimized for best performance and best use experience. And uh, this system uh, goes as, as a software as a service and you have to pay only for your use. And this is actually a multi-tenancy system. 
and we use microservice architecture and latest tools and technologies. Therefore, the system is highly scalable. All right. Now let's see how we use AI to uh, provide better line balancing. Actually, we are using a prediction model there, which is developed using naturally deep neural network to predict initial number of pieces uh, which can be allocated to the production line for the given line. We are starting from there and we have uh, advanced algorithm and uh, process using that we do the allocation. Okay, so not only that, we are continuously doing R&D and we are, see, we, we are trying to find out how we can improve our algorithm and our processes. AI is just one of them not only AI, but also we are improving our algorithm and processes as well. Okay, so that's about it. Now let's see the system. Uh, in the demonstration, uh, we will be seeing a typical layout and then let's upload it, upload this layout and let's do some initial balancing. And then let's allocate this to a production line. And then let's do some performance study. Then next, let's see a already balanced line. And let's go to the work study officer view. And from there, let's uh, do some absentee balancing. And finally, let's see the dashboard. Okay. Right. Uh, First, as I promised, I will show a typical line. Here we can see the main details we have in here is the machine, operation, and assembly. Those are the main information we have in here. In addition, we have a style number, a style type also we have, but the main information we have are machine, operation, and uh, assembly for this layer. For all the operations, we have that information. Now let's move to the application, our application. All right. So we have, as I said, we have web application and mobile application. For this uh, demonstration, I will be using the mobile application. There are two applications. One application for uh, line balancing, normal operation, like initial balancing, rebalancing, and absentee balancing. And another application, which is actually for a performance study, which can be used by the work study officers. So this is the line balancing application where we can do initial balancing, rebalancing, absentee balancing. We can do allocations. Those things we can do using this application. Right, I'm logging into the system. This is work study officer view. Uh, before coming into the work study of the view, let's go to the layouts. I'm going to upload the layout. Now, once we come here, we can see the layouts already we have in the system. And now we can take a, a layout to our system. When we get a layout, there are two options. One is we can upload the Excel file, or we have a REST service, we can have an interface with any other system which provides the layout and we can get the layouts from that system if the uh, interface has proper authentication and authorization. So in this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload. I press this upload button. I select the layout. Once I select the layout, we can see the layout file in here and the file size also we can see. Then once I save it, it uploads the layout. If everything goes smoothly, then system gives the success message. If there are errors in the layout file, we can see all these errors in here. We can correct them and we can upload them again. Now I will go to the layout again. Now we can see the uploaded layout in here. This is L1002 uh, KES demo. Right. I will open this. Now, once I go to the layout, I can see some header information in here. And then here I can see the operations, machines, and assembly. 
as you can see, we don't have skills right now. This is because now we have operations in the layout, but still we have not matched them with our skill inventory. So that's what I'm exactly going to do. Generate skill suggestions. Right. There are two, three types, suggestions, fully match, and new skills. First go to the fully match. Now, what does this mean? Now, there is an operation name, join uh, this one, join stuffing in the, uh, in the layout. In the skill inventory, we have the same one with same machine and same SME within the provider, within the allocated range, allowed range. So what we can do is we can take this as it is. That means for this operation, skill will be matched. This will be taken as the skill. This is fully matched. All these are fully matched. Then next go to the new skills. Here, this is the operation. For this operation, there is no skill matching in our skill inventory. So there is no uh, skill matching the machine and the SME within the range. So it doesn't suggest anything. What system does this system will create a skill for this operation and it will be assigned for this operation. And next, uh, next let's go to the suggestion. This is the most important one. Right, let's see uh, see this one, attach cups. This is the operation in the layout. And skill inventory, we have cup attached. Uh, the machine is the same and SME within the range. range. We can identify, we can think that this is, a, uh, this is actually writing the same thing in two ways. So what I do is I will select that. So the system will match this skill for this operation. For trim the tube, also tube trimming. So, so what I do is I will select that as well. Then hang tag, I can see a spelling error in the layout. So what I do is I will match that as well. So the last one, the operation is this one and the uh, skill is this one. So this is completely different. What I do is I don't select this one. So the system will create a, uh, skill for this new operation for this operation once once i am happy with this i can press assign skills button then system will assign all these uh, skills once we go back to the layout we can see all them uh, assigned now this layout is good for the initial balancing and we can proceed with this now i will go to the initial balancing now layout is ready so i will go to the initial balancing uh, here in the initial balancing, we can see already created initial allocations. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new one. Here I will select the layout, which I already uploaded just now. And so once I select this layout, I can see a number of lines in here. This is of course now this uh, line has a style type. These production lines are the lines which can produce this style type. So this can be two or this can be hundreds. From the list, I can select whatever the uh, line for which I want to generate the initial balancing. In this case, I select uh, both and I will create this balance button. Then system created two initial uh, allocations here. Now you can see the first one is allocated to line L010. The efficiency is 18. And then hourly target, that means number of feces is can produce within an hour is 21. Then the second line L007, efficiency is 22% and it can produce uh, 25 pieces, right? So let's go to the uh, one of them, the first one. And once we go there, we can see the header details like the, the uh, number of pieces it can produce, hourly target. Uh, if the line is producing at 100% uh, capacity, how many pieces they can produce, and the current efficiency of the line, the initial allocation, and match percentage, and number of operators in the line, and of course the default skill rate or as well. Now let's go to the this first person. Now here we can see all the operators of the line, 
and the operations allocated to them. Let's take this first operator. Now this person is doing the first op this operation and the SME value of that operation is one zero point one six. The efficiency is 50 here we can see. This is because this person doesn't have any historical uh, employee skills for this operation. Therefore, what system has does is system has taken this default skill rate and uh, with that skill rate system has allocated this operation. Here we are assuming any person can do a work at a 50% efficiency because they have trained for, they have trained to do certain operations. So even they don't have skills for these operations, they can do at a 50% skill rate. So uh, if we go further now, this person is uh, working seven minutes and producing 21 pieces. Then this person after this seven minutes, that person has 53 minutes per hour spare time. So this person can go for, uh, go for the next operation. Uh, and that also uh, works for 18 minutes and producing 21 pieces. And so still the, uh, that person has more time. So that person is doing some more operations until that person's spare time is zero. Right. Uh, so we can see the allocation for other people also. Now here we can see for most of the people, the spare time per hour is uh, zero minutes. Here we can see uh, it is four minutes only for the last person. Now, so they, this is actually very good allocated. Now uh, we have this allocations and the uh, initial balancing we have. We can move to the next one. That is, we let's allocate this to actual production line, and we will do some performance study. Now I'm going to allocate this to a production line. I will go to the allocation and rebalancing. There I can see already allocated lines. I can create a new one here. I select the layout again, and I select the layout. Sorry, line, and I used a copy. If I use a copy, what I can do is I can uh, I can add more operations and I can say remove operations from the layout that we which actually won't do any uh, harm to the original layout. That means it 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 works only for this layout, only for this allocation. So what I do is I I am using a copy of the layout for this allocation. And then I save this. Then system creates a, a blank allocation with the header. Still, we don't have any operations allocation allocated for this allocation header. Now uh, we can view performance. Once we view performance, we can see all the operations are in red. That means we have not studied for any of these operations. So what exactly we are going to do is we are going to study. Let's do that. For that, I will go to the other application. Right, line balancing study application. Now, since I created the new uh, allocation, I'm going to update the system because this system can run online as well as in batch mode as well. So now uh, if we have to run batch mode, we have to update and get the download all the information from the server. That's exactly what I am doing. Right now it's done. So now what I can do is I can do a performance study. I select the operator and there are, there are two options I have. I can key in the operator. I can enter the name, enter the employee number and select the uh, operator. Or I can just uh, scan the QR code of the employee. But for the demonstration, I'm going to key in. Uh, let me enter one. Right. Once I select the operator system, select the line. Now we have allocated this uh, operator for a line. 
that line will be automatically selected by the system and the style or allocation which is already allocated to the uh, line that also selected by the system automatically what a work study officer has to do is work study officer has to select the operation uh, that he is going to study now uh, work study officer can go to the uh, record section and there while the operator is working there doing their usual operation work study officer can do the study here now i am going to now let's say uh, operator is doing the sewing work the, 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 I press the sewing button once. Again, I press because the uh, operator is doing the second operation, second uh, piece. Then operator is doing the de-chaining. Then operator is doing the inspection. Then that's done. So here I can enter the uh, allocation for allow, uh, sewing, de-chain and inspection because now whenever they are doing the operators are working they they sometimes they have to take some breaks but whenever a work study officer doing the study they usually don't take break that's why we are giving an allowance and here two number of pieces we studied uh, with this button i can copy this uh, allowance and the number of pieces to the d chain and inspections if I am happy with that, I can go to next. Here I can see line style, uh, the operator I am studying, and then operation, the SME, that is average person's time, and then uh, this person's time, and then allowance for this person, uh, then final uh, time for this person. So based on that, the skill rating is calculated, which is actually 50 point something. Right. If I am happy with this, I can accept this one. Once it is accepted, it is recorded in the system and work study officer can study the next operation for the same person. This operation also he can study. Likewise, work study officer can study the other operations this person will be doing. After completing all the operations for this person, the work study officer can select the next operator and do the study. The same thing will repeat for the next person as well. So this is about the study. Before completing the study, I will show one more thing. The study summary, where we can see all the studies we have already done. So for example, I will select one zero. I can select line. Uh, L00. Let me select the line again. L010. Sorry, my bad. L010 and the uh, layout. Once I select the layout and the uh, line, I can see the study I already done. Then here I can see the studies done for this person. What I can do is I can deactivate the, uh, the last record. If I deactivate this one, uh, the study done for this operation for this operator will be, uh, the previous one will be taken as the active one. If I press deactivate all, then, all the studies done for this person for this operation will be deactivated. Then we, we may have to redo the study or we, we have to go to view inactive studies and we, we may have to activate them again. Right, that is about the uh, performance study. And I will log out from performance study application and I will go back to uh, the other application that is the line balancing application we are we are going to do do initial balancing rebalancing and absentee balancing right All right.
All right. I will go back to the same allocation I was working earlier. Now, if I go back to the performance study, I can see the studied one in white, others are still in red. I have studied one operation, but still I cannot balance this line because I have to study other operations as well. Uh, in here, we can uh, add more operations. Let's say I want to remove one operations from the from this layout, from this allocation, and then uh, that means the work study officer decides to take out this operation uh, from this allocation. Then work study officer can remove them. Or if, if work study officer wants to introduce a new operation, that also possible. So that's about it. And here also we can print. Uh, before showing the print, I will go to this allocation where we can see already balanced line. Here in the header, we can see the target, uh, hourly target, that is number of pieces the line produced and efficiency. The, before, sorry, this is actually a number of pieces they can produce if everybody is working at 100% efficiency. And this is actually the efficiency of the line. Uh, and we can see the allocation as well. Down here, we can see the allocation. Uh, now this one we can we can get the printout we can take a, a report from this one and we can print them we can email this uh, there are various options and if we want to add more operations we can do that we can remove operations but if we do that we have to rebalance the line so that's about the rebalancing now let's go to the uh, work study officer view this work study officer view is actually a special view for work study officer. Once work study officer log into the system, this is the landing screen for the work study officer. Work study officer can see all his lines in here. In here, work study officer can see this line L007, which is allocated to this uh, layout. And then one person is absent in this line. The second line, 11 persons are absent today. And then uh, they are all together, there are two people are absent. So uh, using this screen, work study officer can directly go to the allocation and see the allocation in here. Or work study officer can come to this one and go to shift allocation. All right, what is shift allocation? This is actually absentee balancing, all right. Now from the work study officer view, I am going to do the absentee balancing. I, here I am in the work study officer view. I press this shift allocation and I come to this uh, shift allocation. Here I can see the allocation again. And if I go further down, I can see one operator is in red. Here, that means this person is absent today. So we have to find a person for this operation. What I can do is I, sim I can simply click this button, then system suggest a person for this one. System says this person is absent. This person is available today and uh, this person can do this operation at a performance of 122.019. Uh, that person is from the same line. Then I can allocate the person temporarily. That means on, for, only for today. Or I can allocate permanently. That means I'm allocating this person for the life. Uh, for the demo, I'm allocating temporary. And I go to assign. Once assigned, we can see that operation is allocated to the new person. So I can do the rebalancing. Once rebalanced, the line is balanced for 31 pieces. Uh, here, uh, we can see those other information. Also, we can see updated. All the allocations also is updated. Let's go back to the work study officer view. Here, we can see now it is in green. That means it is now balanced. All right. That is about the uh, absentee balancing. Now let's go to the dashboard. And in here, in the dashboard, we can see most important information in here. There are two allocated lines. 
this these are actually allocated for production and then there are uh, uh, 139 lines which are not already allocated altogether we have 141 lines uh, from allocated line we have balanced only one line so from this balance one line we have do we have done absentee balancing for this one line so we have uh, absentee balancing we have done from 100 percent that means we have to do uh, allocation before do the absentee balancing so the absentee balancing is 100 percent but the rebalancing is only uh, 50 percent because even though we allocate or we have balance only one line then performance study two uh, lines have to be done performance study and then here we can see the fact uh, wise summary uh, here the uh, efficiency and today's efficiency as well we can see here we can see in the graph as well and then this is actually actually factory minutes attendance uh, this is actually minute wise and here we can see employee head wise head count wise attendance also we can see in here line in this line there are 13 people in the line only 12 has come if we go to the next one here we can see how many studies they have done today uh, and how many they have done yesterday the each and every work study officer so that's the uh, dashboard in addition there are some more information i want i i would like to highlight one is the say user management here we are using hall based user management in the system uh, and then uh, we have some common imports here we can uh, this is this is actually very useful when we are initially set up the system we can import uh, attendance we can import layout machine detail employee details from excel file and as well as we can uh, get those information from rest service actually we the system has a built-in rest service any authorized uh, system and interface system can uh, uh, say uh, communicate with the system and we can get the information so for example if you have a chart system then uh, if you have uh, say uh, proper interface then we can get uh, employees from the HR system and we can get uh, attendance also using the we uh, using our test service in addition there are some more options like say we have these menu options for master data entry and i think you saw most of the other things all right that's about it and that's the end of the demo uh, thank you very much for the attendance so this Shani, over to you. Thank you, Luxury. Um, well, I hope you all have gathered some valuable knowledge from today's webinar. Um, so in a nutshell, some of the capabilities that uh, Kingslake Blue Line Balancing Solution will provide our customers uh, would be um, to optimize line capacity, and uh, to identify the best lines for a new style. Um, since we maintain skill levels for employees of employees, uh, we can identify the best skills and uh, capabilities that would fit well for the new production. And uh, this, is, this would make planning much easier. Also, we could monitor employee performance uh, by capturing employee performance through different stages in the process and maintaining historical data for analysis. Uh, we can monitor performance of individual employees at uh, any given time. So um, our solution could also identify training needs uh, by maintaining employee skill levels and um, identify skill gaps for a particular operation, we can identify training needs for employees. So um, we could also continuously uh, improve line output uh, by proactively monitoring and um, acting on certain bottlenecks, we can ensure reduced downtime or inefficiencies that can arise. Um, 
also we could identify unbalanced lines due to um, missing employees and uh, to find best employees to fill the gaps fast. Uh, well, finally, um, we will answer some questions uh, that were sent to us during the presentation now. So, um, the first question is, um, yes, uh, what would be the pricing for this solution? Dilshan, um, yeah. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, this is a fully hosted solution and uh, we will be uh, looking at a subscription model. So it's based on users. Uh, there's a minimum order quantity of uh, five users and it's priced at uh, per user per month, 55 USD. Hope okay. that answers your concern. Okay. Thank you, dear Shan. Um, there's another question. Um, why is this hosted in the cloud? Uh, I'll take that, Dishani. Okay, All thanks, right. Laksri. Well, so I would say cloud provides the best security because they, they have the best tools and technologies. They have the infrastructure for security, which we cannot meet actually which other, other uh, normal uh, uh, in an in a in-house environment, it is very difficult to have that such type of infrastructure in-house that is very costly. And then uh, scalability, because now uh, in cloud, they have a lot of the, uh, servers. Their data, sense, uh, data centers are huge. So the scalability we can achieve is very huge. Uh, we can deploy to hundreds of dockers. We can use Kubernetes and we can have a have very, very high level of scalability and the availability because since they, they are mirrored their servers, the, the availability is very high. And then accessibility, whenever it is in the cloud, it, it can be accessed from anywhere. And there are some non-technical reasons as well, the cost, because the infrastructure cost, if we are to maintain as infrastructure, the cost, the, cap, uh, the capital expenditure, the uh, whatever the knowledge, everything is very, very much. So that's why we promote cloud. Hope that answers your the question. Thank you, Luxury. Um, so we have another question. Um, if we uh, need more details, how can we get in touch? Uh, well, uh, you could send us an email to info at kingslake.com if you wish to get uh, more information. Uh, we will get in touch with you directly. And um, also, uh, we have received a few questions that uh, we don't have much time to answer during this session, uh, but for sure, uh, we will get in touch with you via email uh, and uh, make sure that uh, we answer all your questions and address your concerns. So, great. Uh, before we conclude, um, I wish to thank uh, each and every one of you for your participation in um, today's session. And uh, I hope that uh, this has been a great experience for everyone. I also thank you once again, Laksiri, uh, Dilshan and uh, Danusha for your support. And um, well, if you need the webinar recording, please drop us a message so that uh, we can share the recording uh, with you. And uh, so this concludes the webinar. We hope uh, to have learned and enjoyed this presentation and uh, we hope to see you soon. Um, till then, take care, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good weekend, bye. Thank you, bye.